Hey guys, it's Alex C with TFP TV. If you follow our program, then you know that I keep a Madsen M47 and 30 out 6 in my vehicle on the ranch in case I see a coyote, but I keep a much smaller gun in case I see a different animal like a rabbit or squirrel. That gun is a CZ 452 2E with a threaded barrel, usually equipped with a Coastal Gun P22 suppressor. It's a very light and handy 22, and it is, of course, a bolt action that can accept 5 or 10 round magazines, and it's actually one of my favorite guns to shoot. Who doesn't like ringing steel with a 22 rifle all day? The CZ452's receiver is made from a single steel billet and sports a hammer forged 16 inch barrel. The trigger is adjustable to the shooter's taste and it can accept 5 or 10 round magazines, although I prefer the flush fit 5 rounder. While the barrel's thread pitch was half by 20, I bought a half by 28 adapter for $20 so I could run my 22 suppressor. With an overall length of just over 33 inches, it sure is a handy little thing. I put on a pretty big optic for a rather small 22, a Nikon P22 2 7 by 32 that has served me well. The reticle is very nice with clear marks for drop compensation at fixed distances, but let's shoot it a bit. Shooting steel with a suppressed 22 never ceases to entertain. It always blows my mind how much louder the bullet impacting the steel is than the actual report of the rifle. It's also a great way to teach new shooters. The rifle isn't very intimidating because it doesn't make too much noise. So obviously the number one most important factor to look for in a 22 or any rifle you're going to use to hunt small game with is accuracy. A squirrel or rabbit is a very small target and if I've learned one thing while hunting these animals it's that you can't expect the animal to sit there and wait for you while you shoot it. The CZ452 is a great option for most of our viewers and I say that with some confidence because being a bolt action it's not only 50 state legal but it's also legal in more restrictive countries like Australia. New Zealand, the UK, Canada, and so on and so forth. Pretty much anywhere you can get a firearm, you can get some sort of bolt action 22. That's probably the least restricted firearm in the world, uh, that and shotguns, of course. That being said, there's other variants of this gun, and there's also the CZ455, which is somewhat similar. I'm just a little biased because I'm so familiar with the 452, and having a lot of trigger time with this example, I just know that it's a great gun. I really like shooting it, it's fantastic, and thing is how it's so popular around the world. I've seen lots of videos of people in the UK using a variant of this gun. There's going to be parts availability all over the place. Um, while the Ruger 1022 is kind of obviously the most popular 22 in the United States, semi-automatics are more restricted in places like Australia. So this is an option for our Australian viewers to look at. It's a great rifle. You don't have to wear the cowboy hat while shooting one either. So that was a test at about 80 to 85 yards right there. And it grouped the first group of five rounds was about an inch and the second one was much less I almost same hold every single one with wolf ammunition which is good ammunition but really guys this was kind of a self-indulgent video I just wanted to showcase one of my favorite rifles my favorite 22 for sure and hope you enjoyed it special thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time